Hello there amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to a brand new super duper amazing Doctor Who reaction type video for today. For this video you're going to see me react to the brand new trailer of Doctor Who. And of course I'm going to talk about generally what I think of it, what do I like about it for most certain things. So this is the first time I'm actually watching this trailer and of course I'm watching it well, I'm going to actually put a little screen so you can see me watching it as well, but the sound will not play because I do not want to get copyrighted. So you still see the video, but no sound. So I'm quite looking forward to doing this video. And of course, I'm quite looking forward to seeing what my reaction is going to be. Seeing this trailer for the very first time with Shooty Getwa. Unfortunately, a BBC one has not been released yet. This is a Disney Plus trailer for out those outside of the UK. So I'm literally going to see what I think of it, if I'm looking forward to it, if I'm not looking forward to it. And of course, it's Doctor Who. I am looking forward to it, but I'm more of a classic Doctor Who fan. So some of my reactions you see to the reaction to the trailers that come out for Doctor Who Collection range, like the latest one was season 15. This will probably not be the same because generally I love classic Doctor Who a lot more than the current modern era of Doctor Who. So to say that I don't, it doesn't mean I don't like the modern era. It's just I prefer classic Doctor Who over some of the modern stuff. I mean, classic Doctor Who is literally the Holy Bible. So this it won't be as like a fantastic trailer reaction like I do for the collection sets. So without further ado, so let's dive into it and you can see my reaction and basically what I generally think about it. So Let's get into it. So we've got the title is heading towards Unit HQ. Again, you've got the Disney Plus logo. Oh, the crash land. Yeah, they actually do crash land the Unit HQ. You've got the, the Doctor, new series. Fantastic shot. Okay, we kind of got something that's been recently before in the Church and Ruby Road. A fantastic another shot of the TARDIS. Uh, Ruby's family. Again, another little callback to... The church on Ruby Road at the end of the episode where she goes, who are you? I'm the doctor. You know, it's just that bit carrying on. So, yeah, OK, don't need to know more about this. Oh, wow. OK, new stuff. I like the fact we see a image of the 10th slash 14th Doctor David Tennant. Oh, wow. OK, again, we got the title. Sequence. Oh, dinosaurs. Oh, well, so we kind of go back into the age of dinosaurs and Ruby... <laughs> she steps on a butterfly. <laughs> oh, all fantastic space shot as well. Oh, shape shifting aliens. Music. Okay. Oh, what's that in the pie? Is it a pie? Yeah. Ooh. Something very creepy. Oh, this is very, very creepy stuff here. <laughs> Seeing the doctor scared. Planet. Oh, the doctors look screaming at the TARDIS. Hmm. Okay, we've got the doctor promising to look after Ruby. Uh, not the first time we see a doctor promising companion's parent. But we know what happens there, don't we? You can change time. Nothing is possible. What's going on there with the TARDIS? It looks like it's falling apart. And of course we have the Doctor Who logo. And the TARDIS spinning out of the Disney Plus sort of thing. So yeah, you know, while that looks pretty decent. Yeah, well, pretty cool actually. Yeah, very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. Got some new bits and stuff adding into it. I mean, that shot of the TARDIS crash landing in Huni HQ. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing that episode. I really am quite looking forward to the episode. Um, the TARDIS materialising in Ruby's parents, aka Clara's and Clara's mum. The TARDIS is basically just dematerializing in the building and it kind of damages the roof. Quite nice to see that. I mean, it's not often you see a Doctor Who with the TARDIS lands in a building, but... You don't see it do much damage, but it's quite to see the tires doing some damage to a very, very cramped sort of room in a ho well, flat sort of thing. So I think this trailer looks absolutely good. I mean, yeah, okay, we kind of have some more like reused shots from the church on Ruby Road in this trailer, which 
I don't get why they kind of use these shots. If you're going to make a new trailer, I mean, you know, you put old new shots into it, not old shots. If unless you want to keep it a bit of surprise. So I'm literally going back to the beginning. So again, I really love that title shot into Unit HQ. I don't like the Disney Plus logo in it. So hopefully we'll get the BBC version. Again, Shifty Gatwa looks absolutely amazing as the Doctor. So I'm quite looking forward to see that. That shot with the TARDIS is basically on the kind of flat um, cliff side. It kind of looks like it's the one where Jodie Whittaker regenerated on. So maybe, maybe not. I mean, yeah, okay, we got, you know, I'm not too sure on the Church of Ruby Road segmented. In this trailer, because we've had the episode at Christmas Day, we know what happens in the episode. You don't really need clips. There is so much going on. I mean, generally, it looks like this is going to be a full-packed eight-part series or an eight-episode series. I'm hoping we've got a couple of two-parters. The dinosaur episode looks pretty good, apart from Ruby standing on a butterfly and then kind of changing the look of humanity. And the Doctor just kind of goes... Uh, you know, it looks pretty good. I mean... Shuri's Doctor seems to have some really good, interesting styles. I mean, it's, some Doctors have more than one outfit. If you look at basically John Pertwee, Tom Baker, you know, Sylvester McCoy with the two jackets, and of course, Peter Capaldi and Matt Smith in general. So it's nice to see that Shuri's Doctor has different outfits through different points of view in his timeline. So it's quite, I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of this. Ruby crying when the Doctor's kind of got his arm around her. Confident. Um, the kind of music's around Ruby really says, oh, we're going to have a musical-type episode again. And not too fast on musicals. I mean, Star Trek Strange New Wheels kind of did it really good, so Doctor Who probably can pull it off. Yeah, everything looks pretty cool. I mean, very much like the Beatles episode. I mean, I don't get what the Tiles has kind of gone like decrepit and it's kind of falling apart in that picture with loads of moss growing around it i don't get why they kind of done that but i'm not too fussed i mean i actually am quite looking forward to seeing this episode but yeah you know what i this is actually my point of view basically my reaction to the trailer and to be honest with you i dislike the reused shots from the church on ruby road i had to rewatch it twice um, I'm not too fond on it. I mean, yeah, okay, the ties basically crash lands through Who HQ and crash lands into Ruby's mom's, um, foster mom's house, which is quite funny that the ties basically makes a dent in it in the ceiling. <laughs> that looks pretty good. But the rest of it, yeah, you know what? I'm quite looking forward to the series. I mean, it doesn't give too much away. We do have a bit more villains with shape shifting aliens, so. I'm quite looking seeing seeing what these shapeshifting aliens are going to be called because they're not going to be Saigons. Because I, from what I can tell, from what I've read through with, with, with Wikipedia and other Doctor Who sites on out there online, that there's going to be no recurring villains for this series. And last time I kind of did a series with no recurring villain, no recurring villains, it kind of didn't go well, and that is series eleven. So I'm kind of a little bit hopeful that this series does not go down the roots of series 11. I really am hoping series 11 just basically does not go down that route because series 11 is to me a bit of a a bit of a failure because it doesn't pull off no recurring villains type thing going on. I mean, if you look at classic Doctor Who, if you want to watch classic Doctor Who, I mean, some seasons have no recurring villains and that's basically looking at season 15 season 16 season 13 you know then of course if you've got the 60s you've got seasons i would say seasons five and six but they have cybermen in them so they are a bit of a recurring theme apart from season 19 apart from the cybermen turning up and the master but yeah you know what i'm actually quite looking forward to watching this episode am i looking forward to watching the entire whole series well Yes, to be honest with you, I'm quite looking forward to basically sit down, give you my review on these episodes soon after they've finished broadcasting so I can get my review out onto my channel and basically think what I think of the new era, aka the, AKA the Disney slash RTD era phase two. Uh, I am quite looking forward to it. I'm quite looking forward to seeing what, what story Stephen Moffat's going to do because I'm currently in the middle of writing my list of 
ranking the Stephen Moffat episodes from basically series one all the way down to series ten. And basically, I'm going to write, think, basically rank all of the Moffat episodes and what ones he's written. So, yeah, let, thank you for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And hopefully, you enjoyed the Doctor Who trailer. And let me know your thoughts and what you think for the trailer for Doctor Who series one, season one, aka series 14, or like I call it, season 40, just to add that bit more continuation from classic Doctor Who. And of course, we have the return of Bonnie Langford in this series as well that we see in the trailer as well. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share, and join me for more awesome Doctor Who content.